Oh man, how you guys doing? We chilling today. Uh, on your way in, hit that like button for you guys in the replay squad. Those those likes help. I'm not gonna lie. Started a little bit later today just because I was busy watching that Apple event. Did anyone else watch that? Oh my God. Titanium iPhone? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll get started here in just a second. Again, smack that like button, share the hell out of this stream, and we'll get going. would be a good time to transition <laughs> how you guys all doing we got a bunch of peeps in here let me turn this down a little bit for you guys we got alpha prime bug out m390 uh, we got D damage true gaming i don't even know man barbarian brawny dr breezy brendan all american maker remember to stay hydrated y'all do it uh let's see uh, size 76 david hurst in the house how you guys all doing afternoon ty guy says what's good fam much love from bc canada hope everyone is having a great week so far ian in the house what's up dude what's up um all american maker says oh crap now i need a new iphone yeah i need a new iphone too because i make all of my content on my iphone um let's see uh, baba yaga what's up so we got a few things to unbox we got this package Oh, we got this package oh, and we got this package that one's heavy that one's like solid five ten pounds or probably like 10 pounds ron in the house dude you always drop it in with your song now ron oh my god remember to hit that like button on your way in and um should we get started on this hopefully this is working this time around it is we're gonna open these packages with a couple different new knives. So this is the uh, superlative infidel. Look at that shield pattern. It matches my shirt. Um, I love it when stuff matches. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, so this is the infidel and it is a slip joint, but look at how crazy this slippy is. Yeah, CPM M4 blade steel walk and talk oh yeah. oh yeah yeah so good so good so we're gonna unbox this one first from uh, best tech let's see what we got here oh this is a best tech man and this is the good boy the good boy okay okay I heard they are releasing a special variant of the iPhone 15 and Ulta. <laughs> Ron, where are you at? Okay, so this is the good boy. It is a button lock. Look at that. Channel colors. I'm just getting a lot of knives with the channel colors. Do I have one in my pocket? No, I don't. Where's the, where's the crazy Tron knife? Oh, it's over there. Anyways, um, D2 blade steel. Uh, ooh, I like seeing that. Deep carry pocket clip. Recessed screws oh okay okay hmm how's the button lock action oh my wait is that a crown spine it is a crown spine wow okay this is actually not bad what the hell i mean it is a full-size knife this is a pretty big chalky boy it's like literally the same size as the urban minimalist speaking of the urban minimalist there's the clip guys the lynch pocket clip but yeah this is the good boy dig the color and this is a budget knife so i assume it's probably like around 50 60 bucks look at that grind it is a flat grind it's a flat compound grind if you can count that as a compound grind. 
The new iPhone in Thai got me feeling some type of way, a big need, exactly. For the EDC community, that new iPhone, ooh. And I'm gonna get an Ultra 2, Apple Watch Ultra 2. That's gonna be sick. Alpha trying to push out all the case makers by releasing a Thai body. Yeah. Or Apple, why did I say Alpha? Apple. Okay, this thing is pretty sweet. Um, what is this? Can I don't even know what that laser engraving is. Shall we try cutting open this package? With this? Actually, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna use another knife that is channel colors, and this is the new KTK Tonto from Auxiliary Manufacturing. Brad, I know you wanted to see this. Holy shit, is this thing clean. Look at that stingray. That is literally stingray skin wrapped. AEBL um, a blade steel. And it's a triple hollow grind. So there's a hollow grind here, a hollow grind here, and a hollow grind here. And she's slicey. Wait, did I just... Oh my god, I don't even need this. I don't... Bullshit, man. We're going to leave it open. <clears throat> this is coming to us from Olight. Holy shit, this is a lot of stuff. What is this? That's a big macker right there. Seeker 4. Um, The center I3 west, east, south, north. Oh my god, dude. That's a lot of I3Es. Are these I3Es? It doesn't say. It just, I'm assuming they're the keychain flashlights. Okay, let's get into the big one first. These names though. <laughs> a big what? Uh, a big macker? I don't know, dude, what did I say? Taylor's in the house, what's up, dude? Okay. Why the hell does it have such a big ass box? Seeker 4. God damn, this thing is huge. I never use my shit. <laughs> wow, okay, that's a big holster. I'm like thinking I'm a security guard if I were to carry it in this holster. Okay. Oh, wait. With O lights, you gotta take out the uh, little thingy, the little tab. How big is this battery? 5,000 milliamp hour. Okay. It has this nice rubber texture in here. Okay, so that's out of the box. Um, what else does this come with? What is this? Is this, is this an attachment for the holster? It is. I think it is, at least. Oh my God, is it permanently stuck in there now? No, it's not. Okay. I don't know if I did that right. I mean, I guess you can mount this to a wall or a bookshelf or something and then just use this as the mount. But, oh, okay. So there is a charging cable on the side, which is USB-C on the holster. Okay, I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, if you were to mount it to your garage, I wouldn't carry this entire thing. Rubber for your pleasure says Taylor. Damn, Ricky is hacking Taylor now. Sheesh. Oh, God. Thank you. All right. Um, What we got? USB-C cable. Are you shitting me? So I have to charge it? Is it proprietary charging through this? Is there a USB-C? I don't know. Let's test out the brightness on this, though. It has a dial very similar to the Marauder. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. It's not even, is it charged? It is, you can feel that heat. Holy shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Seeker four. I have a Seeker two and a Seeker three. 
Seeker 3 Pro? Maybe? Seeker 2 Pro? Uh, let's get this. This will probably be given away at some point. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. And... God, I'm just going to put... I don't know, man. I'll mount it somewhere. I'll, I'll mount it somewhere. Whatever. Maybe the, the garage. I don't know. Or just leave all the parts sitting out in the studio. Okay. Nice. I really don't want to open all these up, but I guess we must. <laughs> War, what's up? What is that noise? What the hell? Oh. I got the Apple event playing in the background. It's like on repeat. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, uh, what's happening? Dr. Breezy, what's up? Uh, or we, if you want to go put more premium. Sorry if I'm missing your guys' chance. You can't trust anything I say. It might be Ricky. Damn. Okay. Ricky doesn't even know what an elementum is. Jesus Christ, man. IR2. <laughs> Is this in titanium or what is this? I think it's aluminum. Aluminum. Doesn't say. But it just has West and all these different letters on it. So this is North? Wait, why does it say North and then West? Oh, it has all of them. Okay. All right, cool. Another I2R into the collection, I guess. That will probably be given away at some point. Um, here's the West one. Not expensive enough for what, dude? Oh, I've never owned an Elementum not expensive enough. <laughs> Ooh, this one's nice. Okay, the West. Shit, come on. West is pretty decent. I like the blackout. These can get relatively bright. Oh my God, my face, dude. Relatively bright, not like the sun, but it is a keychain flashlight. Okay, that one's dope. Uh, Wait, what's center? <laughs> he made a center? What the fuck, dude? Okay, awesome. Uh, whichever. Kanye West. <laughs> you mean Ye? Because he's going by Ye now? Okay. Air South. Ooh, that focus, though. Did it? Okay, there we go. This is a red. I mean, these keychain flashlights go for, like, what, 15, 20 bucks? So, they're not bad. USB-C rechargeable. Pretty cool, I guess. Is it, isn't it yay now? Or did he go back to Kanye? Yes, yay now. Next month's light will be a back, back door and nose. Wait, what? Back door and nose. <laughs> this is crazy. Why, why so many I2Rs? I guess Olay is just like, okay, we're just going to name all the different materials. Different directions now. Here's the east. I mean, I can use this for some pocket dumps if they're color themed. DCO gang or nothing? I am uh, the micro click peanut gang. This guy right here. Amazing flashlight. Do I need to charge you up? No. Oh my God, I keep hitting my face. I keep hitting my face, man. Now, last but not least, the center. The center is where it's at. Oh my God. This isn't, yeah, this isn't really our channel colors. This is more of a green. It, I guess it could be, but there's the center. 
And this one has the northwest, southeast, or northeast, southwest engraved there. Okay. I just noticed it also says what direction to turn for off and high mode. Okay. All right. So there is all of the new Olight stuff. These should be available soon. Um, I, I should post an affiliate link in the description, but you guys will probably see a shorts video on one of these. And yeah, we usually have discount codes. Bye, Bradley. All right, I got to get back to work. Love your crew. Peace out, dude. Peace out. The good boy. Hmm. Best Tech Man, putting out some stuff. This is, again, Best Tech's budget lineup. Uh, let's talk about this before I get into this big-ass Vertex bag. So, yes, this is the Urban Minimalist with the Lynch Northwest Pocket Clip in titanium. It's an upgrade, and my God, is it good. It, it completes the knife, mostly, but it eliminates the hot spots that you'd get because the original clip, it goes up quite a bit. It's just a lot cleaner. Urban Minimalist is still available for pre-order at Urban EDC Supply. So if you're interested in grabbing this, just search Minimalist and you'll be able to find this. It's so sexy. And if you haven't seen the review I, I did on this, or I guess an overview of first impression, go check that out. It's on the channel. There you go. Okay. Now we got to back this up way back and get into this big ass package from Vertex. This is the first time I've ever gotten anything from them. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Holy shit. Does it come with that clip? No, that is gonna be an upgrade. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Holy shit, man. What are we even talking about here? Um, these are a lot of different panels. Holy shit, dude. How many different add-ons can you get? Oh my God. Oh yeah, that, that's a lot. That's 15 different items. Damn. What do I even do with all this? A sling bag. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, it's like falling off the desk now. I need a like. I don't have enough room. Oh my god. Stacy, thanks for becoming a uh, bronze minimalist again. Welcome back. All right, so what is this? This is the uh, long walks edition bags. Or these are the long walks edition bags in black. So this is more ruck style than anything. Uh, materials feel nice. Wow, this is like, can I fit this in here easily? Yeah, I can. Can my camera even fit all this stuff? Definitely a hiking bag. Okay, so they got some interior loop there. And then what about on the interior of this? Oh my God. Ugh. Oh shit. MPH full sub, Mac full, Mac standard, Mac lock, Mac band standard, Mac band full. There's just a lot of stuff on here. Okay. So that's what these are all for. Um, this is a holster. So, do you just... Yeah, it's completely modular. I like that. That's pretty dope. Oh my god, you can take out this entire panel, maybe? I don't know. Silica gel, don't eat that stuff. I'm so confused right now, bro. How does that even work? 
Okay, I had Tactagami. <laughs> it's like origami, but not. All right, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to play with this on my off time for this stuff at least. Okay, so which one is this? This is the uh, 15 liter long walks bag. Uh, let's look at these straps. Wow, there's a lot of ventilation here. How does this come unclipped? Am I dumb? Oh, just like that, okay. Yeah, this would be great for rocking. Ooh. Is that a good spot for, probably shouldn't have an open blade there. Let's uh, reholster that, but can you throw, bam, fixed blade on either sides if you want, I guess. There we go. 15 liter, I'll have to again, take a look more into this. I wanna get some more time. Let's get this one out of the way, cause it's huge. Holy shit. God, the studio is going to be an absolute disaster. This is the 28 liter long walks bag. There's a huge, I guess, like area right here where you can throw in a big ass water bottle, hoodie, whatever you want. And then what does this pocket lead to? Some loop. This is a small half pocket. Okay. Wow, look at that stuff. Yeah, there's a lot. And an even bigger bag plus pack accessories. I'm like, damn, son. This is, this is crazy. This is just a big ass loop surface. Like you can literally put Rees on here. Do I have any in front of me? I do. Ooh. We can rep the peace neighbor stuff now. Shouts to Sean Ashmore. He sent these out, or I guess Urban ADC. And we can open these up. Bam. Take this little Velcro backing off. Will it work? Perfect. Perfect, man. You unbox this, Cole? The good boy? <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about, Cole. What's up, dude? Oh, how's that good boy? There we go, yeah, he is. Yeah, this is a great budget button lock right now. Like, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it quite a bit. Okay, so there's that one, and then we have this one, which is pretty neat. These are available at Urban EDC Supply along with his hat, which is in the Forerunner. Um, I think tomorrow. It's a clean patch. I like the, the overall aesthetic of it. Both of them. Dope. Okay, so we're gonna be done with this big one now. Guys, I've been getting in so many bags. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna have to do, like, start doing backpack reviews at this point. <laughs> Is there like a laptop sleeve or anything? I mean, this is a very simple, a very simple bag design. There's not much to it. I mean, it is ultra light. But all right, cool. Probably a really good bag to go hiking in. So yeah, this thing's dope. Now this one I'm excited for because I've uh, been growing the collection quite a bit. This is the Vertex Sling Bag, I think. Is it? The Vertex Waste Pack. So it is literally a fanny pack. Okay, I like that they put some loop right there. I would like some exterior loop though, because you guys know how I go. Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, I mean, it, their whole thing is just basically lots of loop on the inside. Bam. But this is much smaller than like a snack time sling. Uh, clip setup, I wish this was magnetic, but you know, 
not bad. Don't know what this is for. Is that like what? Why is there a loop right there? Maybe for carabiner carry? If you want to throw a carabiner on there. Bam. Uh, should we look through these attachments individually just so we can see them? Oh my God, dude, there's so many attachments. Like. This looks cool. So this is for Molly webbing, uh, quadru quadruple multi-purpose adapter panel. So you can literally just stick that to any loop and adapt Molly into the backpack, which is pretty sweet. This one is the max stand or yeah, the max standard. So you can hold mags, you can hold a knife in there. What? Okay, so how's this, how's this shit supposed to work, bro? Like, I'm so confused. There's no instruction manual or anything. So what do I do here? Uh, <laughs> am I dumb guys? <laughs> What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to set this up. So how, how do you do this? That's like really confusing. I'm not going to lie. It is literally an origami, pu origami puzzle here. You rip it and stick it, of course, exactly. But like, how do I get it set up to the point where I can carry a knife? If that's a knife. So like, um, why am I struggling so hard here? Oh yeah, I saw the Peace Neighbor hat on a Kez video. Dope hat, it is. What a, what the F am I looking at? This is a, a Tactigami Max Standard, and I have no idea what the hell. See inside for instructions. Oh my God, Don, I'm stupid, man. I'm stupid. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Base. TPR shuriken. So place magazine or any other item over the die cut aligned bottom item. So like this, maybe fold up secure back piece like this. Oh my God, did I do it? <laughs> I did it. I think. There we go, okay. There we go. Yeah, so this can hold any knife, pretty much. In your backpacks. I know this might be boring for you guys. I'm just trying to learn how this all works there we go except that plastic piece is going to definitely scratch up some scales but uh let's take the sling bag from a damn ad you're back Ian I didn't prompt any ads is this 
frozen too. Yep, it is. Now it's the main camera. Whatever. Okay. Well, most of this live is in, is sending this stuff up anyways, so. No biggie. Brandon's in trance. You should do should review more tactical heavy duty EC gear. I should, dude. Except I'm not a really tactical person. Um, this might be a segue into that. The tactical non-minimalist. Okay, vertex. I don't want to go through the hassle of setting all of this up. I can use that for my Glock though. That's nice. I can use that for my Glock. This is another max standard. Ooh, this one's easy. Oh. This one's super easy. You can just like that. Throw a flashlight in there like this. Maybe another tool. Maybe this guy. Did you guys see this video? The queen. And I guess you could use this for knives as well. I like that one. Um, they're saying use it as like a mag kit. What is this? This is for an AR mag? Jesus Christ, dude. This one is for bigger tools. Thread any molly pouch or accessory through the loops and adapter panel. Nice. Here's another molly panel. This one is just a different color. And then another holster. Nice. Okay, so there's there's duplicates. Let me see if I can fix this camera real quick. I don't know what's going on with it. Brandon about to be operator AF, I guess, dude. Is it reconnecting? It says that it's connected now. Did my camera like overheat or something? What is going on? No. <sighs> why am I showing up on this side now? And why am I brighter? What? You make no sense. Okay, we'll take that one away and <laughs> bring this one back over. Okay, we're in business. All right. Okay, so this thing has additional pockets here on this side, full customization, kind of like the snack time sling, I'm not gonna lie, except smaller. And then up here we can put even more stuff. So this thing can get pretty large. Um, How do we extendo this guy? Uh, what the F is happening, dad? <laughs> God, I'm so late on the chat, guys. Sorry. We'll just go all the way out. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, that's not broken now, but is this supposed to be waste only? Because this is uncomfortable. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. Stacy code EDM for 15% off for what? I snag a set of EDM edition nods. What are what, what are NODS? What do you even mean, dude? My purse matches my shoes. Oh, that, I mean, there you go. 
It's getting hot. Um, let me make sure my AC is on because it feels like it's not on at all. Why is it off? Hello? You gonna turn on, bro? There we go. Okay. Whew. My underwear matches my socks. My shirt matches my socks right now. Fanny packs are back, people. Yeah, pretty much. They are. I'm gonna reconfigure this later when I have some more time. So I'm gonna take this stuff out just in case I forget. Just accept it and rock it like a real man. Yeah. Thanks for the link, OB, high tide. Oh, there's a interior pocket here too. Dude, this is a totally, if you're in a tactical stuff, this for your pew pew, perfect. All right. Oh my God, so much stuff. I, I, I can't handle it. Okay, let's pay attention to the chat because I've been just going off on everything here in front of me. <laughs> it's time to get back to it. Let's talk. What's the best EDC wallet and EDC flashlight and pen? Bobby Yaga, that's a lot of, a lot of things there. Best EDC wallet for me is uh, the, uh, what is it? The Reform Model 1. The Reform Model 1 is going to be your best one. I mean, it is like close to 100 bucks, but it's just super clean in my opinion. This needs to go back down again. There we go. Now we're not blown out. Jeez. Um, in terms of uh, flashlights, I could recommend uh, the Streamlight MicroStream USB if you're looking for a decent budget one. And then if you're looking for something a little bit nicer, the Raylite Rook. Raylite Vosti Rook is amazing. Um, and then in terms of a pen, Big Idea Design and Tactile Turn make the best pens. Tri-State says, uh, Baba Yaga already told you, flashlight Rovi Vaughn. Roby Vaughn does make some good stuff. Um, I would still go Ray Light. And then Pen Tactile Turn. Tactoe Turn, he says. Olight is the best of the best. Olight does make some good stuff too. So, not bashing on them. Speaking of which, does this Seeker 4 have a proximity? It does not have a proximity sensor in it, does it? I don't see one. Hmm. This is the Seeker 4 Pro. What knife would you compare the McQueen to? Just ordered one this morning. GK, there's really no knife that compares to the McQueen because it's just so different. Like the Anthem in terms of the coil spring locking mechanism. Um, it's just a very minimalistic knife in general. I mean, two screws and then the coil spring axis lock, like the exterior is just super clean. And then 4V blade steel. The only thing that I would probably want to do is get titanium scales, but stainless is still pretty decent. It's not bad. Pocket clip is reversible. Very nice deep carry. Yeah. Kevin Stewart in the house, what's up? What's up, dude? I just saw you pop in, how you doing? I hope everything is going well, your surgery, how'd that go? Uh, GK, I hope you enjoy your McQueen. This is a dope knife and I think you're gonna like it. Devco, so um, they, it, it's like die free co, but they also go by Devco, so D-F-C-O. Prometheus Beta QRV2, you're welcome. Yes. Yeah. 
Chris says, you made me buy the ZT0562 tie, dude. That's going to be such a good purchase. If you don't want to drop $400 to $500 on a hinderer, yeah, that, that's going to be a good one. Guaranteed. Uh, Stacy says, yeah, I like Olights, and I have random random type I bought from Drop and Urban EDC. Okay. Tyler says, uh, giggity giggity. Hey there, Kevin says, Stacy, Kevin, great, got more blood flow than they thought, so I'm doing very well. Thank you, sir, dude. Well, welcome back. Long time no see. Kevin, I, I've been getting into fixed blades. You want a fixed blades, bro? Been getting a lot of fixed blades in. Like, this is a new fixie. This is a new fixie. There's more over there, but. This though right here is probably the most sexy fixed blade that I've seen. Mike over there at Auxiliary hand makes these. It's crazy. So this is my first custom, full-blown custom handmade fixed blade. Look at that wrap. Look at that grind. That's a, a hell of a nice Tonto blade, yeah. Expect to see some Instagram photos of this and it's the channel colors in, in terms of the stingray but yeah you guys are going to see a bunch of instagram photos coming from this quake and blaine tonto is that's probably the sexiest tonto ever um tomorrow we are going to be getting in a package from chavez so chavez sent out their new kick stops the new black micarta kick stops. So those are going to be really fun to take a look at. I'll likely have those um, on live on stream on Thursday. So we'll check those out on Thursday. I'll probably unbox them, do a shorts video or something on that. So Ricky says, I like that. Should we go? Should we go stock Ricky real quick? Uh, we should. Because Ricky posted the first, his first fixed blade. And I really, really, really wanted it. And then he sold it, I think. Let's see. Oh, shit. No, no, no. There we go. I need a second monitor here, but. Okay. Oh. Why is this still here? What the? Extendo. Extendo. Okay. Did that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. So, um, we're going to have to go way back. Way, way, way back. How much is that one? Like three, f 380? He, he had them at USN. The Olsen Custom. That was a very long time ago. Like when we first met, bro. When we first met. Baba Yaga says, dude, I want to get one of those so bad. I just bought a CRK Umnams on. There we go. There we go, dude. Cole's like, notice me, senpai. Bro, how far back is this picture? There it is, right there. Yeah, I saw this and I was like super butt hurt. Or I guess I, I really wanted it. I just really, really wanted it. It's such a clean design. But then we got this guy in and I was like, that, I guess, uh, thing that was on the list is now fulfilled. Because this right here is a mean, mean knife. Everyone go follow Ricky on Instagram. If someone can pop in his link. Actually, you know what? I can do it right now. Everyone go follow Ricky if you're not already. Bam. He has some amazing photos. 
You shouldn't play with knafs. Her Ricky sorry, I've been playing with Vera chef knives as I listen. Damn you, Ricky. How are they cutting, dude? Ricky, on that first shot um, that you sent over, I would like to see some cut produce. Just some cut produce on there. And I think that would improve the shot even more. Put in the good word for me, Brandon. <laughs> Wait, what? Where am I putting a good word in? What? With auxiliary? Yo, I just want to stop by and say hi. Oh, Diggs, what's up, dude? Been following Ricky, says Chris. There we go. Follow Ricky, just do it. All right, what are we looking at? Um, cut some sausages, onion, and tomatoes, maybe some celery. <laughs> yep, with auxiliary, I got you, dude. Or you can just name drop me, just be like, yo, Brandon sent me, hook me up. <laughs> Message him on Instagram. Like, yo, Brandon sent me. I want something special. Hook it up. I'll cut some sausage for you, Cole. Oh, shit. You're going to cut up his sausage, bro? Is that, is that what's happening? Damn. Try to say, whip me up some grub. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what's the blue thingy? This? This is the new Best Tech Man Good Boy. Which is a really weird name, but yeah, there you go. It's a new budget knife from Best Tech Man, which is also a, I don't know how I feel about that name. It's literally just Best Tech Man, but this so far is pretty decent. I smell bacon. Tyler, you're making me hungry by saying that. And it's good. Boy, this is tri state. Ian, 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 chill out, bro. Ian. I know you're a good boy, dude, but you have to add in the whatever those I am. Like, what is that? The puppy dog eyes? God damn, dude. <laughs> Tyler says, Ian, you're better than good. Oh, my God. Just purchased the Vosti Thunderbolt West Mountain Knife exclusive. This is Odix. There you go. Mike and Ike's with the Stay Hydrated. For all you guys that are members, thank you again for being, I guess, proud supporters of this channel. Where's pizza? We have pizza upstairs. Uh, speaking of which, when uh, Ricky and Taylor and Ron come in, I'm going to take them to the pie hole. Some pretty, pretty good pizza. Not going to lie. Isaiah says, there's this girl at work I'm trying to talk to and found out she's a vegetarian. I hunt, so that's going to be an interesting conversation. Good luck with that, dude. I, I don't think that's going to happen, man. <laughs> Shit, if you're a hunter and then she's a vegetarian. <sighs> Tri-State says, I just unbox some baller new Vosties as well. Big news on tonight's live, everyone. Go check out Cole's live, I guess. There you go. Mike and Ike's in the house six months already. Dude, thanks for being a member for six months. Can't believe it. Any suggestions for my Instagram page? Same name as my YouTube name. We can definitely take a look at that here in a sec. Isaiah says, like, I don't, I don't eat beef. I eat deer. Wow. Okay. Well, um, everyone here knows that I love steak. So like ribeye, just a fat slab of ribeye, dude. That's all I'm talking about. What's that? Is it's already the twelfth. Um, I've been recently getting back into my old hobby, RC cars. Over this past weekend, um, yeah, that's been really fun. I don't know if you guys know much about RC cars, but f me they can get intense so i've got my crawler you guys have seen that i've got my baby crawler and then i have my super fast monster truck stadium truck one and then now i'm building up a short course truck because i used to race short course trucks on an actual clay track back in the day sold that off a long time ago to buy camera equipment it's time to build up another one I'm excited. 
I don't know if anyone would be, would be interested in that in terms of content. So I don't think I'll post anything on it aside from like bringing it out camping or something, but we'll see. The 186 element says lurking during work. Thankfully, I'm the boss owner. There you go. There you go, dude. You control your schedule. I'm always lurking as well. When I'm working, like when I'm editing, I'll lurk into other people's streams. I'll sit there for a bit. Unless they uh, plan to go live and then I just so happen to be going on my walk. Would be cool to see, says Tyler. Okay. Brandon, you should watch Mark Santa Maria. Amazing RC content. Uh, you know what? I have the baby crawler right here. This thing is so heavily upgraded. The remote is in the garage, but if it will focus, will you focus for me? Look at that. Look at that droop, dude. It's a Bronco. Um, let's see. Can I give you guys more details on the top down now? Yeah, she's, she's upgraded AF. So we've got upgraded shocks, upgraded links right here. I still need to get a brass um, diff cover or what not center diff cover center diff F me. Why can't I even remember what that part name is? Got some, this is at an actual diff cover up front upgraded servos and it is brushless. So this is an outboard motor. Basically this turns really, really slow. And I don't know if you can see the wheel up here, but yeah, upgraded wheels. And these are actual beadlock wheels on the inside. Look at that. Chris Valadez coming in hot. Steel men was member for eight months. Holy shit. He says, sheesh, good times, dude. Almost a year. That is insane, Chris. Thank you so much for your support, man. Even though you already support me in so many other ways. There we go. Oh, and then I did, did a little mod there. You guys may have seen this in the past. There's that, that dude in there. <laughs> I literally just ripped off the head of a Star Wars set, put Darth Vader on the inside. But yeah, this thing's fun. You are now Ian says, Brandon needs a slash or T-Max. I have a rustler and a slash. Slash two-wheel drive. I wish I still had photos of my old race slash. So I had a slash four by four ultimate that I used to race, which was super fun. Tyler says, got better <laughs> shocks than my actual truck. Shit, dude. Is that OJ's Bronco? <laughs> This is Dr. Bracey shit. Uh, 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 you guys are ridiculous. Oh, did my candle go out? What the hell? Shout outs to you, American Maker, with this espresso candle. Did the wick die? Maybe. Recreational RC and EDC says RC is cool, but I'm not in their crawlers. Are you going to bashers then? I got a couple bashers. The the Rustler 4x4 broke. I literally broke the uh, caster hub, the rear caster hub yesterday. And it's overheating. The VXL system is overheating. So I think I need to either like gear it down a little bit because yeah, it's too much power. Head Fiasco says, oh man, I love the slow crawlers. Yeah, this thing is ridiculously slow. Here, let me let me go grab the remote real quick. I'll show you guys how slow this bitch is.
Okay. <sighs> Top down. Bring this back up. This thing is beat to shit. I think we have to, yeah, we have to change the model. Model select. And SEX 24. There we go. Okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, here, I'll show you guys how slow this thing is. It's like this much throttle. You can't even see it, but like. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculously slow. And it's just fun to crawl on top of shit like knives and EDC gear. Because why not? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, let's let's crawl on top of this. Give it some flex, maybe. Nope. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, climb it. Climb it, bitch. Do it. But yeah, here's how slow these tires get. Can you guys see that? can go even slower or even slower you can barely see that moving bam okay play with this thing a little bit later maybe so my some of my buddies have crawlers as well and we've been building up the small 24 second ones, so. <sighs> Let's go. Um, so amazing, it says head fiasco, yes. It lo it's crazy, it looks like a real Bronco driving over EDC gear. <laughs> you should see the Jeep, bro. The 10th scale SEX 10 that I have, that thing is built from a kit. Like I literally built it up like Legos. I've always gone pro, but pro max will be the way to go this time. Are we talking about the phone? Are we talking about the iPhone 15? I'm going pro. Um, the pro max, I don't know. Pro max is cool, but I don't like the size. Like I like to keep my pockets super lightweight. I guess because I'm carrying a lot more sling bags, I can move over to a Pro Max. But the Pro has been super, super robust. Um, the lens on the new one, this lens right here is 120 mil, which I don't think I'm gonna use because if I'm going 120 mil, I'll probably just bring my camera with me. I don't really zoom into things. I guess the quality would be nicer, but the only reason why I would go up to the Pro Max is because of the battery life. Even then, I mean, I don't even really plug in. It's already 2 p.m. almost, and I'm at 80%. <laughs> did they announce the Series 9 watch too? Yep, they did. And there's a new chip in there. Not much has changed. I mean, my Series 8 still gets the job done really well but i'm gonna upgrade to the ultra too more than likely probably around christmas time because i just really like the bands that come with it and then that titanium aesthetic is just more like g-shocky chris says i got tiny hands man it's too much phone for me gotta get the ultra too as well yes yeah dude i mean i don't have tiny hands but I don't know. It's just so much more convenient. Like having a pro max, you get, you're like out to here and it's like harder to navigate your phone. And I'm using my phone.
pretty much every single moment I'm awake. I want to, I wanted voice changer info because my voice has the opposite problem and effects. What do you mean, dude? I'm going to update phone and watch still on a series six and 12 pro max. Damn Ian. Yeah, it's time, dude. What's up with the ads? What do you mean? Can I, I think YouTube said that they're changing their ad policies. Let me see. Can I pause these? Okay, there we go. I can just completely turn turn off ads for 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get yourself an X-Max or another fifth skill basher and you will never look back. Dude, I think I... <sighs> That's the thing is like, if I get an X-Max, where am I going to put it? Like the garage already is like pretty damn full with all my overlanding gear. Um, I don't want to bring a dirty ass truck into my studio, but I was looking at this guy here. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Um, uh, bomb. Did that work? Yeah, that worked. Okay. So the one I was looking at is the UDR. Where is it? UDR, where are you at, bro? I think I passed it. There it is. This thing right here looks dope. Um, just because of its scale realism in terms of like being a trophy truck or a Baja truck, like look at this suspension. This is insane. It's got a full blown tube chassis the shocks on that bitch oh my god and then the power the powertrain is sick too look at that multi-cam oh it does have some mcb on there okay okay yeah i would go for this model versus the blue one but x max is dope too uh where is it there's also the r xrt these two this guy is fucking ridiculous. AS. You know how much I'm going to be spending on freaking batteries? I'll be dropping like 200 bucks a battery and I would need like eight of them for one trip. <laughs> yeah, this thing is sick too. Is that the X-Max? Yeah. X-Max next to the XRT. This one's $1,000. I think the X-Max is also $1,000. Where's the price on this? Yeah, yeah. So XRT, a thousand, X Max, a thousand dollars. Which one is cooler? So here's the X Max. It's more of a monster truck than anything. And then this is like a um, stadium truck slash monster truck hybrid. So if you guys know what the E Revo is, this is like the big Kahuna version of it. High downforce wing. 60 miles an hour if you gear up and then two forest light bulbs, dude shit mike says i had a revo i've owned four or five e revos this hobby kind of went down the drain when i started the youtube channel i'm not gonna lie like the priorities were kind of changed up quite a bit it was more so camera gear is more important than this other hobby that I have going. But nowadays we might be able to get back into this hobby as well. I have a lot of hobbies. Okay, guys. It, it, it's a, it's a really fun time, man. I miss my tracks. says Mike, do it, but no back or front flips on the XRT. True, true. I mean, Backflips and front flips are definitely the X Max's like forte. But we have sand dunes here in Utah. We have deserts. So that's why I was looking at the U UDR. This is still 600, 700 for this thing. It's a 6S power system, but it has all the lights and everything built into it. This thing doesn't really have that. But yeah. 
Batteries not included. Yeah, so these investments will probably turn into 1500. It's not even an investment at this point. This is just like for fuck it. For fuck it moments. Like I, I want to play with an RC car. <laughs> Barbarian Brownie says, my brother and I would spend whole paychecks on batteries and parts for our RCs. Yeah. Um, my SCX-10 II is probably up to like $2,300, $2,000 spent on it. So my, my 10th scale crawler. It's insane power on XRT though. I'd go for, I'd go with the trophy truck. That's how I'm feeling. I have an Arma Fire Team 6 I'll sell you. Brand new in the box. What is that? DM me, bro. Arma Fire... Arma Fire Team 6S. Wait, that's not it. Oh, my God. Is this it? Is this a rock... Rock basher or rock... Um, rock racer? It's called an assault vehicle. What the hell are those tires, bro? What the hell are those tires? <laughs> yeah, this is like the Yeti. This is like the Yeti, um, not the score, just the Yeti buggy. Spectrum receiver, what? Plastic, plastic. What is this center arm here? Is that just like a chassis arm? What the F? Yeah, no, because the, the center drive line is down there. What the hell is that? Arma is a video game, I think. Yes, it is. Arma 3. <laughs> I think that UDR would bump in sand. Yeah, dude. I remember working all summer for an RC car. First day I had it outside, stored, and it floated away and flood. Oh, no, dude. Shit, hopefully it was a waterproof one. Uh, but in a flood, that's that's rough. T fetch, can I play with it? Nah, you're grounded since one go away. <laughs> What's the difference between a T and an X Max? So a T Max is a nitro monster truck. It runs off of nitro fuel. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to work at a hobby shop when I was like 15. So like the ins and outs of all this stuff, like I know how, how to fix and repair nitro cars, tune them, whatever. But a T-Max is going to be quite a bit smaller than an X-Max because I think this is going to be a quote unquote 10th scale. Um, and yeah, it, I mean, this thing has gears in it, I think. Does the T-Max? I think it does. I think it has two gears. And then when you look at the X-Max, this thing is a behemoth. It is absolutely ginormous, man. Like I could not fit this thing on the desk. The tires would be overhanging. Red bars, center brace, aluminum chassis, tend to bend. Oh, gotcha. Well, um, uh, recreational RC and EDC. I do, I'm down to trade you some nice knives if you're in. Yeah, X Max is is crazy, and it, it outperforms. It completely outperforms any nitro RC out there. And then you got the E Max. There's the E Max, which is wait a minute. There's the T Max 3.3 Revo 3.3. What the hell? Did they discontinue the E Max? The E Max is the electric version. And then what is this? The Haas. Haas 4x4. Is this just like a rustler but a monster truck? I think it is. Layout is very similar to the rustler and the slash, but it looks like it's a little bit taller. Wait, is that a plastic drivetrain? Yeah, plastic. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Let's go. Are Nitro RC cars a dying breed? I don't know, dude. Um, I had a Slayer at one point as well. So I have had a Revo 2.5. Is it 2.5? Revo 3.3. 3. 
had a bunch of E-Revos. I also had the Slayer. So that is the Nitro version of the Slash. So this is my... I put like two grand into a Slash Ultimate. Where is it? Um, BXL. Where's the Slash Ultimate at? Can I just do this? Here we go. Short course truck, four wheel drive. Um, so this guy right here. Yeah, I, it's like even though it's already significantly upgraded from factory, like it has all this bullet aluminum, um, I threw in crazy electronics like an RX-8, was it? I can't remember the exact ESC on that, but yeah, Haas is like the 10th scale. Yep. Why not compare, combine all and have a Tex-Max? I, I don't know, dude. The X-Max is like pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, Mike says, I had a Nitro Jado and it was fun, but when the brushless came out, it was game over for Nitro. Yeah. Brushless RC cars are just ridiculous. Like, if you want the sound, then uh, yeah, go for a Nitro. But when it comes to ease of maintenance, not having to refuel all the time, not having to tune all the time, like, brushless electric is just the way to go. What happened to your real car? It's chilling upstairs, CPM. What do you mean? Chilling in the garage. Um, is Tri State still on for tonight? I think so. Enough about RC cars. Um, I think I, I'm probably gonna run to the hobby shop. Get some food, run to the hobby shop, get some carne asada fries just because I want to Mac out right now. Possibly. DBXLE. Is that okay? I'm not gonna share the screen. I'm just gonna look at it. Is that that fifth scale? Um, is that like the low C 5T kind of, or what is it? Is that low C or who makes the 5T? DBL DBXL E 2.0. What are we looking at here, dude? It's not pulling up. There it is. $1,200 RTR. What does this run off of? Like 12S or some shit? No, this is also 8, 8S. Is it four wheel drive? I can't tell with this image. No. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is four-wheel drive. Dude, I don't have space for that. That looks absolutely dope. It looks absolutely dope, but I don't have space for a fifth scale RC car. Of course I'm on tonight, says Tri-State. Yes. Don't go to the hobby shop. We are going into recession. <laughs> CPM has mentioned that we're going into recessions multiple times. <laughs> I just need a single part to fix my rustler. That's it. Team Losi is bougie AF. Uh, yeah. I had a few uh, Losi buggies. Race spec buggies. The B4... The B44.4? I think it was the four-wheel drive buggy. And then the B2. You usually have Team Losi if you compete. Exactly. Yeah. Team Associated... It's been pretty cool too. I had a couple, um, was it the SC10s? Hang it up on the wall? I mean, I guess I could over there. I mean, I, I technically do have space, but no storage. I don't know. I feel like the X Max is a very durable RC car. What time is the live 7 p.m eastern yes there you go okay guys we are, have been going for about an hour and 15 and we did a lot of unboxing just to recap we unboxed a bunch of stuff from vertex some stuff from olight and then what else do we unbox oh and then the best tech man this guy the good boy so if you guys want to see that just watch the replay you can just rewind and check out the unboxings for these 
aside from that guys that was a great stream i should be going live thursday towards the evening so probably around 3 4 p.m um, mountain standard time and uh, we'll have to catch you then thank you guys so much for dropping by on this live stream and we'll have to catch you on the next one peace out